you want to speak something, good or nonsense, you can speak. Everyone has got the freedom to speak about his philosophy, about his thesis. But why through Krishna? Why through Bhagavad Gita? This is our protest. Uh, let Krishna speak himself as he is or as he wants. Uh, why should you speak uh, by malinterpretation? And that is the practice now that everyone can interpret Bhagavad Gita as he likes. Then where is the authority of Bhagavad Gita? Uh, can you interpret the law given by the government in your own way? That is not possible. Similarly, if Krishna is accepted, he is accepted actually. Uh, <coughs> find out this word. Uh, para Brahma Param Dhamma Puri Pavitam Paramam Bhavan. <coughs> So Arjuna said, You are the Supreme Brahman, the ultimate, the supreme abode and purifier, the absolute truth and the eternal divine person. You are the primal God, transcendental and original, and you are the unborn and all-pervading beauty. All the great sages such as Narada, Asita, Devala and Vyasa proclaim this of you, and now you yourself are declaring it to me. So, uh, the uh, student of Bhagavad Gita, as Arjun says, Shishasthiham Sadhimam Prapannam, after hearing Bhagavad Gita in detail, he accepted Krishna as Parabrahma, Param Dhamma, Pavitram Paramam Bhavan, Purusham Shastram Adyam. So one may say, that this is a friendly talk. So Arjuna accepted Krishna as it is described in the Bhagavad Gita that he is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So as a friend he accepted. Because Krishna says, Aham Madhiri Divana, Aham Sarvasa Prabhava, Matta Sarvang Prabhattati, Iti Matya Bhadanti Mana Buddha Bhava Samanita. So or to accept it. Yes, you are part of Brahma. Uh, Brahma and part of Brahma. We, all living entities, we are also Brahma, but we are not part of Brahma. Part of Brahma is Krishna. Ishara Parama Krishna, Satchidananda Vigra, Anadi Dadi Govinda, Sarvakarana Karana. Iti chang sakala pungsa krishna su bhagavan sayam. These are the verdicts of the Vedic literature. Here it is also repeated by your job that uh, not that after hearing you, I accept you as the Supreme Personality of Godhead <coughs> for a Brahma, but formally Osita Narada Vyasa. Uh, they also accepted it. Uh, the next words. Salve tadratam manye yanmang vadasikeshava nahite bhagavan yaktim vidu deva nadalava. So, I accept all your instruction. Uh, what is it again? Read it. Sarva metam nitanga manye. This is actually student of Bhagavad Gita. Not that the portion which I like I accept and the portion I do not like I reject. This is nonsense. If you want to become the student of Bhagavad Gita, 
if you want to derive some benefit out of it, then you should be like Arjun, like this. He said, sarva me ritaṅga malle. Whatever you say, I accept it. Ritaṅga means truth. Not that I am accepting, but previous to me. What is the next line? sarva me ritaṅga malle. Young man, what is he Then? Because your personality cannot be understood even by the demigods, what to speak of ordinary human being. Uh, and Krishna has said that avajananti mangamura manusim tonuvasita parangvaham avajananda. The murha those who uh, deride at Krishna that he is an ordinary human being, uh, such person is condemned here with as mura. Mura means as. Avajananti manga mura manusim tonumasata. Because he does not know param bhavam, what is the background of Krishna. Uh, so similarly, there are many passages. Anyone who does not understand Krishna uh, and is at the same time he declares himself as the student of Bhagavad Gita, as the scholar of Bhagavad Gita, then he is misleading himself and misleading his followers. Uh, that is the verdict of Bhagavad Gita and everyone. Bhagavad Gita has to be understood. Uh, in the fourth chapter you find out that Imang Vivasati Yugam Praktavana Hamabayam Vivasana Manavai Prahu Vanu Ikata Vibravi Evam Parampara Pratam Imang Raja Sayobi. This is Parampara. The, the truth of Bhagavad Gita was first spoken to the Sun God, and he spoke to his son to Manu. Vaivasyata Mano, and Vaivasyata Mano spoke to his son, uh, Ikhaku, and Krishna said, evaṁ parampara praptam evaṁ rājarsayogi. Rājarsa. This philosophy of Bhagavad Gita, it is meant for the rājarsi, not for the lower class. Rājarsa. King at the same time, saintly person. Uh, even the Rajal Sayobil. Uh, Krishna does not say that ordinary scholar or so called uh, philosopher can understand. Only the Rajal Sayobil. So Arjun is one of the Rajas. So he understood Krishna. He says, he says, Para Brahma Paramudhava. So we have to accept this parampara system. If we take Bhagavad Gita seriously, then we should follow the footprints of uh, Arjuna as he understood. He accepted Krishna as the Parabrahma. So what is spoken by Parabrahma, the Supreme Lord, the Supreme Person, uh, how we can interpret his words and squeeze out some meaning and mislead myself and mislead others. This is not good. Uh, so our this Krishna consciousness movement is trying to rectify this mistake. Uh, Bhagavad Gita is the most authorized uh, scripture in the Vedic literature. Uh, Vedic literature means it is not spoken by any ordinary human being. Apurasya means this literature Vedic literature is spoken directly by the Supreme Person or Lord. Uh, so it was instructed through uh, Brahma, Lord Brahma. Tene Brahma Rida Adikavai Janmadasya Jatha Om Namo Bhagavate Vasuti Vai. These are the Vedanta philosophies beginning. The Vedanta philosophy <coughs> begins with the word athāta-brahma-jīgyāsa, this human form of life, 
is meant for inquiring about Brahma.